nice thing about meditating is that you're doing it because you want to do it. Now you could be sitting here with your eyes closed thinking about all kinds of other things, but you realize that that doesn't accomplish much. You've got the opportunity now to work on a skill. The affairs of the world are not so pressing. You've got this time, you've got this place. So what do you want to make out of it? What do you want in terms of the breath? Well, work with the breath, see what you can do. There will be some limitations on what you can do. But you don't know those limitations until you've explored, until you've pushed the envelope. You've got this whole field inside, the body, the energy in the body, the different elements in the body. There's lots to explore. And then, of course, there's the mind. The mind is many times more complex than the body, but it's not beyond our ability to try to figure it out. You hear some people saying that meditation is about not thinking and not trying to figure things out. They criticize you for thinking too much. Well, if you're thinking about the wrong things, thinking about things away from the body, away from the mind right now, you've gone a little bit astray. But you do have to think about what's going on right here, try to understand how the mind and the body interact, how they relate. And you do that by experimenting. And you find things that you might not have expected. But there are a lot of things you don't expect. But it requires that you clear away a lot of your opinions about things outside, and even your opinions about what's going on in the body right now. We've got the Buddha's teachings as guides for exploration. But we may find that we have to change our understandings of those teachings as we, as we explore. But we're finding things out. We start out with conviction, but we end up with knowledge. Remember that time when the Buddha asked Venerable Sariputta, do you believe or do you take it on faith that the five faculties lead to the deathless? And Sariputta said, no, I'm going to take it on faith, I know. That's where we're headed, to what's called confirmed confidence or confirmed conviction that there is a deathless, that the Buddha knew what he was talking about. But we get there not by simply believing or not thinking. As the Buddha said, you get past your ignorance, you get past your doubts by exploring inside what's skillful and what's not skillful. What, when you do it, will lead to a long-term welfare and happiness, and what, when you do it, will lead to long-term harm and suffering. That's something you can explore for yourself. So the field here is wide open. And it's going to exercise all your mental powers. But it's good to get them exercised. Otherwise, the world exercises them. For what purpose? Just to survive, get some material comfort, have some interesting ideas to entertain yourself with. But here you're using your mental powers for something a lot more solid, a lot more lasting. So exercise them as best you can. Remember, you're here because you want to be. And that makes it a lot more interesting. <laughs>